It's the Real News Network. I'm Sharmini Perez coming to you from Baltimore. With funding from Charles Koch, the state of Arizona will be dishing out $5 million a year to free market academic centers like colleges and universities. Arizona's governor and legislature seem to have very close ties with the Koch political network. Our next guest, Alex Koch, just authored a piece in alternate title, the Koch brothers are using the state as their right-wing laboratory. Alex is an independent investigative journalist based in Brooklyn. Alex, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thanks so much for having me. So, Alex, Arizona's governor, Doug Ducey, seems to have very close ties with the Kochs. What are those ties? That's right, and, and there's many of them. Uh, to begin with, he's attended a number of the uh, Koch donor summits. This is where a lot of the billionaire conservatives gather in various resorts and discuss kind of their strategy to continue uh, spreading their wealth into politics around the country. Um, so at, at various summits um, Ducey has attended, he's praised the network and said it's invaluable to, to what uh, the conservative agenda that he shares is. Um, and even before he became governor in 2012, uh, as the state treasurer, um, a group called Americans for Responsible Leadership spent close to a million dollars backing his initiative to oppose a tax to fund schools. So the Americans for Responsible Leadership was actually nearly entirely funded by a Koch-backed group called the Center to Protect Patient Rights. And it was also run at the time by Kirk Adams, who is now Ducey's chief of staff as he's governor. So they laid the groundwork for Ducey becoming a, a strong political figure in Arizona even before 2014 when he ran for governor. And in that year, um, we saw that the Center for Protect, uh, to Protect Patient Rights, uh, which rebranded itself as uh, American Encore, um, spent around a million and a half dollars supporting uh, Ducey's uh, governor's race. The 60 plus association, which is uh, deeply tied to the Cokes, spent another 1.4 million. Um, it was actually funded in part by American Encore and a couple other Coke groups. Um, and then uh, American Encore continued to spread the wealth around, giving money to various other groups, such as the Legacy Foundation, uh, Action Fund, Veterans for a Strong America. Um, and these groups also spent money, independent expenditures as well, in the 2014 Arizona governor's race. So eventually, with all of this Coke money and these Coke connected groups, Ducey became governor um, at the beginning of 2015. Interesting. Um, so now we have a, a budget that the governor has signed off on on May 10th, which includes funding uh, in spite of the, uh, the funding that we were just talking about, the five million in terms of universities and colleges receiving them. Um, in spite of the growing protests, mainly by students and professors concerned about how this is going to affect their academic life, particularly the, the ties to big business. Um, what uh, did you uncover about this and what is the reaction of the governor's office to the protests? Well, uh, Ducey is fully behind the $5 million that's going to three free market focused uh, centers that are housed on two public Arizona University campuses. He seems to think that this is an, a very common thing to have a line item in the state budget that directly funds these centers, although experts at Uncoke My Campus, which is an activist group that's been working really hard for many years to uncover all the co-connections uh, at colleges and universities. Um, Connor Gibson, who's one of uh, the Uncoke members, has never seen this before. So uh, I'm not sure if Ducey is, is unaware that this is unprecedented or he's um, He's lying through his teeth. But the point is, um, the governor's office is very supportive. Um, he signed it uh, very willingly um, on the 10th. And uh, you uh, have called this, uh, or titled this article you did on Alternate, uh, that um, Arizona is being used as a laboratory. What did you mean by that? Um, well, yeah, I mean, it's a laboratory not just because of um, Doug Ducey, the Koch candidate becoming governor, but because of the whole state legislature, or much of the legislature rather, um, got there um, with help from at least Koch linked groups. Um, so there are a number of groups that spend on state legislative elections. Um, these are outside independent expenditures. Um, that are not supposed to be coordinated with the candidates. Um, so there's an interesting group that I discovered um, and that a lot of Arizona local reporters have, have done a great job of exposing. It's called the Arizona Free Enterprise Club. 
Um, so they, in fact, lobbied heavily for this $5 million provision of the budget that gives money to free market centers. Um, in fact, this group gave hundreds of thousands of dollars to American Encore and to 60-plus associations. So we're, we're seeing kind of a state-based group that's actually uh, funding some of the Koch groups further, um, but also receiving money from the Koch groups. So there's, there's a money funnel uh, kind of a back and forth. Um, so uh, what I also discovered was that one of the founding uh, directors uh, of this group, Arizona Free Enterprise Club, is a woman by the name of Randy Kendrick. Now, she's a major Koch ally. Uh, she's been to these donor summits I mentioned earlier, um, and she donated two and a half million dollars to help start the University of Arizona Center for the Philosophy of Freedom, one of the centers that's getting the state money now. And she also helped solicit a million dollars from the Charles Koch Foundation to start that center as well. Um, so this group, uh, bringing it back to the uh, state level elections, um, spent almost three hundred and fifty thousand dollars on independent expenditures in the Arizona State uh, Legislative Contest from 2010 to 2014, um, as well as 150,000 supporting Governor Doug Ducey. So the Koch ties go you know, from, from the top, from governor on down into the state legislature, and now the universities. Right, Alex. And finally, um, five million a year isn't a lot of money, especially spread out over several different universities. And plus, a lot of the programs has multiple uh, sources of funding. Um, uh, why do you think it'll have such a uh, tremendous impact uh, at the universities and colleges? Well, I think five million may not sound like a lot um, at once, but this is a this is an every year contribution. There's no telling it might go up each year. I think that's what a lot of the legislatures and Governor Ducey and certainly the Kochs and the Kendricks would like. Um, so I think that this is this is starting a, a pretty dangerous precedent where you have private, um, ideologically. Uh, opinionated people like the Kochs, like the Kendricks, putting money in to start these centers, but then letting the state pick up the tab for years to come. I think that's actually the ideal scenario for, for what these billionaires are planning. And, and it's not just Arizona. It's, it's uh, over 53 centers around the country are funded by Charles Koch and his foundation. And they all espouse the same laissez fair economics uh, philosophies. They're teaching undergraduates. They're teaching graduate students who go on, in fact, to join this very large network of Koch-funded professors. Um, and a lot of this network actually meets once a year at the Association of Private Enterprise Education Conference. And if uh, if you can check out my article on Alternet, it's also republished on Salon and a couple other publications. I have a map that it kind of outlines this very tight network of professors, many of whom have gotten their doctorates at various universities like George Mason University, Florida State University, where the Kochs have funded those economics programs. And they're going to these other schools and their founding centers. And they're part of just, I can't emphasize enough, a very tightly knit network that collaborate on um, things like, say, how to start a new free market center or how to divert state resources into that center once it's established. Good work, Alex. I thank you so much for joining us today, and uh, we hope to have you back very soon. Uh, I do, too. Thanks so much for having me. And thank you for joining us on The Real News Network.